Well, good day, twos. Wow, I'm washed out today, aren't I? It's really bright out here, I guess. Uh, hang on a sec. Hm. Is that any better? Well, maybe not. Is that any better? Well, now it's too dark. <laughs> Can't win. Anyways, how's it going today? Pretty good here. So, I was hoping to get the hood on today, but I think we better do some uh, testing for uh, leaks and stuff for fuel before we get that on. And, uh, let's see if I can even get in this container over here because, uh, well, there's not too much snow in front of it, but, uh, we don't need much snow in front of these doors to really bugger you up. But, uh, anyways, I'd like to get in here if I can today and, uh, see if we have any leak problems with the fuel and, uh, anything at the carburetor, that whole fuel line where it goes into the tank, if the <laughs> valve on the tank is leaking itself. Let's open her up here and have a look. Oh, it just made her. Anyways, I got the steering wheel ready to go too, but I think I might wait until we get the uh, hood back on because then I don't have to work around all that stuff, right? So I uh, wanted to get another one of these bushing things here, these covers. Steiner has them, but uh, little plastic cover, there's not much to it. They have them, but uh, I forgot to get it last time, whatever I got last, and uh, pardon me, forgot to get it. So uh, went to uh, put that on the order sheet there, and then uh, holy cow, they wanted $46 <laughs> to mail that to me. Uh, I was thinking that's weird. So I sent them an email off, never heard back, of course. Sent me an email like, uh, something like this, can you not just like shove it in an envelope and then send it or something? They never responded back, so I don't know. But uh, a lot cheaper than 46 bucks or whatever it was to ship it. I'm like, your automated shipping quarter thing is a little messed up there, bud. But anyways, uh, let's see if we can get this other door open here too. Ooh. Mm. Not bad. All right. Well, we'll have to put a bit of gas in her, I guess, here, and see if we got any leaks. Hopefully no leaks, because I don't really want to have to take all this off again for a simple leak. It doesn't feel like a very good gas can or gas can all those ceiling, so that's good. All right, well, let me get you on a tripod, and uh, we'll put some gas in her and just wait a minute or two before we uh, turn on that valve and uh, see if there's any leaks there to begin with. All right, uh, I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on. And uh, yeah, I got the steering wheel painted. Looks a lot nicer. Ready to go anyways, instead of the old crappy stuff. Looks pretty good. Oh, I wanted to maybe start this up today too if it wasn't leaking. I got a new negative ground cable for it too, except I'll show you in a minute. I just I forgot to bring it out with us here, but let's get some gas in her here and see if she leaks at all. Hopefully it's all good. Better not bloody well leak. I'm telling you that right now. Holy smokes. Better not. We did seal it all up, so hopefully it's all good. The first gas in her, eh? I'm gonna have to put a little bit in here, I guess, to most of this can probably. Just because uh, I don't know how far down it actually will start flowing out. This thing's gonna hold probably a gallon before it even comes up high enough to hit that little screen in there. And uh, I guess I guess we'll put this whole can in. We want to fire it up and let it run for a bit maybe too. I really want to get you guys right down close to the engine here when we start it up cold here. See if the camera picks up any kind of that rattling in here. In our, it's not really banging, it's more like bang, 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 when it starts, first starts up. Until I guess the oil pressure comes up a bit. I'm not liking that. Well, here's hoping that it's not leaking. I guess we'll find out in a minute. That's one valve there. I mean, it could be leaking. Oh, man. 
This stupid ethanol is probably going to ruin it again anyways, and it's just going to leave you going and shut off. Anyways, got to love ethanol. Whoever thought of making that? Probably shouldn't have made it, we'll say. Well, that's uh, not quite two and a half gallon. Envire. So far, no leaking. Well, that's good. So far, no leaking. And uh, I was going to maybe drive this thing today too, but I don't think I will because I got all the bolts and nuts and everything for the hood all over the place in there. So don't really think I want to be doing that. All right, there's a new ground cable. I just really didn't like it though because it come in this really hideous blue. <laughs> so I'm like, it should be black. You know, and the positive should be red, which is this guy, which is way smaller. It probably should be this size of one. I think this was a zero gauge or whatever it was. I can't remember. I painted over it. You can almost see that blue right there. It's just a terrible blue. I'm like, no, no, I painted it black actually. And it never dried. It was so weird. I guess because it's some kind of rubber stuff or whatever. It never dried. And I'm like, hmm. So I just took some brake cleaner and just wiped it right off again. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. Well, I got this other stuff that's kind of meant for plastic. And it's, I think it's dried now. Although it's still a little tacky. But hmm. So I'm going to mount this just right down here. Hopefully it gets enough ground off of the bolt and the uh, tractor frame here. I don't know if that's the right spot to take that or or what, but that's where I'm going to stuff her for now anyways. And if it has problems, it has problems, we have to move it somewhere else. Well, that should go up to the battery there. Check the battery out too, I guess. battery and I would have just got one of them uh, you know the ground it's like a flat ribbon strap thing couldn't find it it's all I had it's all they had over there was this guy here so anyways that's good to go uh, looking under there I don't see any leaking yet so that's good yeah that's looking good it's feeling dry so I guess I can find my screwdriver. Come over here. We'll turn it on. What do you got? Shaking them. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> he needs to tour the yard. Yes, he does. Good girl, you're gonna go. Whoa, there's fluff coming out of him. <laughs> Shake him. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Think mom's going. You gonna go for a car ride? Uh oh. Oh my goodness, you are so crazy. Come here, can I see him? Wait, wait, wait. Let's watch this, watch this. Drop it, drop it, leave it. Ah, leave it. Oh, Paisley. Come, bring here, come on. Come on, drop him, drop him, drop him. Paisley, leave it, thank you. Can you, you want this back? You gotta sit. Come on, give me the old speak. Oof. And it growls. And it growls. Show you how to growl, ready? Give me a punch. Growl, growl. Growl, growl. Good girl, okay, go get him. Okay, go with mom. Good girl. Crazy dog. Okay, well turn this guy on. Watch for any leaks at that fitting. Hopefully none. So that should be rushing down to the carbonator now. And of course we'll have to check that too. And let that sit a minute, build up a bit of not pressure, but you know, fuel, <laughs> we'll call it. And we'll see if we got any leaks there. We got the battery here too, so we're gonna hook up that. 
Ooh, that's gonna need to be tightened down some. And this is probably half inch, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Definitely a loose fit. I'm smelling gas. I just closed the lid on that thing. Maybe it's all it is. I'll have to pop around the other side here and see if we got a leak happening. I'm smelling gas. I am smelling lots of gas. Let's go have a look and see here. That's because I am seeing lots of gas. This guy's not tight enough. Oh, it's not even tight. That'll swell it eventually. There we go. And that dripped all the way down the exhaust pipe. That's great. <laughs> all right, I'll let that build up a little more. See, that dripped all the way down there and made this little puddle on the floor. All right. Now, these things, they don't... They're very interesting because if it's got a leaky carburetor, likely it's not going to leak out of here or here. It's just going to kind of build up into this tube. <laughs> Which definitely would, you know, you think it would eventually build up into here and then, you know, flood the engine right over too, right? But it uh, looks like that separator is working though, so that's good. Just I forgot to tighten her up there. Oh, that carburetor is leaking. Ah! I've had so much problems with these. Carburetor's tripping. Dripping pretty good there too. Well, let's fire it up here and see if we can catch it on fire maybe. All right, I got you guys right down here. I'm gonna hook up the positive here. And uh, just so nothing falls out, I'm just gonna hook on this bungee cord or something. Did we hook that before the bungee? I don't remember now. It's into here, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna go to the other side just so I, if I have to, I can chop chop it off quick. Carb might stop leaking once it gets running a bit. I don't know. Let's see if all our electronics is all set up right again. And. Uh, See, she'll start here. What in the world? A bit of throttle. itself. Stuff, that's probably all it is. It might, it might have a little 
little bit of ice under that uh, needle and seat there. And uh, when it went to close, it just kind of didn't shut right off all the way. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty smoky in here. Oh. Tractor, don't ya? You like the tractors, don't ya? A little bit. A little bit. Where'd you go? Oh, she's sniffing around. Oh boy. What a good girl. 
So this would be uh, probably not good to do this, but wow, there's a lot of a lot of play, and I'm going to have to adjust these selector things here, I guess. Down here, these things here to take a bit of that play out. Hmm, that's interesting. I might have to do that before we go anywhere. Well, let's just try her here, I guess. This thing now. Second gear. Everything's clear back behind us. Kind of tight here, but oh, that steer's a lot nicer. <laughs> more if I put a bit more air in these front tires probably but there's definitely a lot of play there I'm gonna have to work on those things. I think they kind of would have done that from factory but apparently not. So we got pretty good oil pressure there. I don't have that rad cap on yet. We're almost to the green so that's good. We got the uh, wire hanging there for the lights for the for the hood. Yeah that's something we're gonna have to adjust. That, uh, it's funny, I think I have to steer more. <laughs> like, there's more steering to do. Sounds like it's running pretty good, though. We're going to take her down through the snow here. We're apparently underway for a gigantic snowstorm here. Um, it's supposed to start as rain, I think, which sucks. That puts a nice slick on the ground where I won't be able to, you know, plow it too well, get much traction, but I think they maybe kind of changed it. We're just maybe all snow here now, hopefully. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Oh, that steer's real nice in the snow. <laughs> I am probably going to get stuck here, I bet. <laughs> I can't wait. Awesome. Seems to be better. Like, I don't need two hands to steer now. I can just do it with one. But once I get this blade kind of worked out of there, they must just adjust them things right out, you know. There's no tension at all on either one of these little adjusters on here. So it's something I'm going to have to work on. Not necessary for today, but kind of kind of wondering if my this one looks like it's steering out a little bit. Which means I got to turn it that way and bring this one in more. And I do have a little bit more on this joint here. I just don't know if it's going to turn in anymore. <laughs> it might not. You know, for all the driving I'm going to do, that's going to tear off the front tires, though, if I don't fix that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. i got to try to get them in tighter, I guess. I think that one at the front might be all the way in, though, but this one has all the all another. Ah, it's not quite half an inch of adjustment there. I guess I can maybe try to adjust that. Well, let's see if we can get up here. Two end. 
<laughs> we just die out. Seems like it's running pretty good. We're still got oh, about 26 or 7 PSI and uh, oil pressure, so that's good. Feels like it's tracking pretty straight. I mean, it's not terrible bad. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that though. I might have to get a custom washer. Like this one here has a bit of space. Oh, it's tight to the case too though. But you get out here and it's good. It's just scraping. It's going that way, but then here it's bad. That's really bad. Well, that needs a washer behind it, I guess, on this guy up here. All right. Yeah, that's tight. Well, let's go down the first talk for a minute. So I got uh, 0 0.2 hours now on it. Sweet. <laughs> Got a bit of temperature, it's not come up though, or that thermostat might have actually opened there. That's good. I'll have to check our coolant. And uh, yeah, still showing negative charging here. I kind of wonder if something's weird there. It should be the other way on a positive. I might have to switch the wires around. I don't I don't know. That's not a major huge problem. It's not charging negative there, it's still charging positive, but uh, uh, yeah, I should have room to turn here when I get down here. And uh, a couple things I want to move and put into the back of the trailer here before we get this thing in here. Boy, this thing is freaking running good. And then all of a sudden, blah, right? Hey, I'm not saying anything because that's happened before. Three times, twice with this tractor. Blah. It was running fine. What the heck? <laughs> you never know. You never know. So there's definitely some play we got to work out of this guy. And uh, a washer, I guess, under this one. I can get this thing off again. That might be fun. I might have to get my wedge in there, and then it'll, it'll probably pop it off. Uh, I can only turn so far. Oh, no, I can turn right, right this way. My stepdad is right though, the power steering sure is nice. <laughs> I am totally agreeing with him on that one. Nope. Could probably use a set of rubber on the front though on this thing. That center rib is where it's supposed to ride. And it steers even better then. It's not actually too bad now. That was really bad before. I don't know what was going on there, but that old steering block was shot. All right, I'm gonna leave her there for a minute. Find his happy spot. So that's good, I guess. I guess it's got some in there. It should be a lot hotter when it's showing. Unless this thing's broken. That's yeah, not too bad, actually. All right, I just want to put a couple things away in the back here. One is this guy. And that jumping jack in the back, I guess, too. Out of the way. Well, at least there's no uh, blue smoke coming out the tailpipe. That's good. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Because that engine was a freaking lot of work, I'll tell ya. Boy, the carts we have cleaned up and painted, though, they sure look nice compared to the crap we have in it. Man, it's a lot of work to go over it yet. Put some pressure red to her. But, uh, anyways, it looks like it's pretty happy there. Yeah. Might just take her around for a little tour. I'll let this maybe, uh, kind of pressure up now a little bit. Unfortunately, you guys can't come with me on that tour. But, what is going on here? There we go. And a bit of warmth, that's good. Sort of a bit of warmth there. Alright, I'm going to take her around and get her warming up a bit more, I guess. And uh, we'll see you in a moment. Can I see that hood? 
back on. Well, it seemed good. I got uh, one tour around, but oh man, I got to do something with the uh, alignment of these wheels. Oh boy. Now that one needs to come in, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to probably, well, I got to take this all off anyways here. And I can get that turned in more maybe. Oh yeah, it was bad. Let me just shut her down here. Let's see if this carb starts leaking while we're talking here. But uh, just because this is out a bit, oh man, you're driving along and you hit like a patch of ice or something on the side, and this one's still got traction, it sucks you over. <laughs> sucks the front end over. So I can see this one's out quite a bit here, so I need to probably take it in that little bit. We'll probably do that. Now this one will be out, yes. This one will be out now. So that's what happens, you're trying to drive straight and then one of these hits ice, and this one's going this way, so then it sucked your, your front end over and vice versa. Oh man, it sucked. That was terrible driving that like that. Plus, it would wear the heck out of these real fast too, so we're gonna have to do that. Not today though, I don't think, but uh, what I'll probably have to do is get this off of here again and use my wrench on there. These things are split, so they, you gotta be kinda careful with them. See if I can get that turned in more. Yeah, so this should be uh, about there. It's kind of, I wish I had a proper measuring device. It's hard to sort of tell up here, it looks fine, but oh boy, it's not fine. <laughs> so that one needs to go that way a little bit more. And I still got a little bit of thread on this one too, but not much. So I'm thinking about there is fairly straight. So now this one should look like it's cockeyed going that way. Yeah, it's definitely, if you look at the line of this to the to the rear, it's pulling this way a bit. So if we tighten this in and shorten this, it should bring that straighter. Sweet. All right, I don't see her leaking. See, I thought that would maybe start working in once it warmed up. So that's good, but I would like to uh, potentially just shut this fuel off again and then run her dry. I don't know what we'll be having or going again until the springtime here. Okay. And then that thing will leak. <laughs> you watch. It'll leak. We'll fire it up here again, let it run out. Seemed to be good though. It's got some temperature now and oil pressure when it warmed up here it didn't seem to come up tremendous. It should be quite a bit higher than that. I remember the Jubilee we had, it would be right up to like 50 sitting here idling. That's pretty good. So it's got me a little concerned why that's kind of so low. I mean, we have some there, but I mean, you need a fair bit. <laughs> uh, maybe that maybe the gauge on the Jubilee was reading wrong, I don't know. Maybe that one's reading wrong, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got a bit of heat there, that's good. Seems like it's running pretty good. So that uh, other side, we gotta address that too. And hollow it out a bunch because it's a fairly big washer for that uh, in here. Oh, that's starting to run out already. Holy smoke. I think I better drain up this sediment bowl too, maybe. Just so she's not having fuel stuck in that system there, right? Come on, baby. Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> Doesn't take long, does it? All right, let's get this cracked open here again.
Oh, that's great. I love that. Hmm. <laughs> wow, that would suck. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that fell off too. Okay, well, there she be. Guess for now that's pretty good. And no leaks, that's pretty good other than that one where I just didn't have that tightened up enough. Carb leaked a little bit, but you know what? You can't win them all. <laughs> well, that's good, everything seems good. Seems to run good. I'm a little concerned about that oil pressure though. I'm Gonna have to look back on some of my older videos if I show how much oil pressure we had before I did this engine job here because something's weird. I, I just kind of wondering if it's something to do with because when we had that valve cover off running it, where it was coming, let me think now. The one two, it was kind of like I figured it would be a constant flow coming through. So I'm wondering if there's something going on with. The other tube on this side that goes down into this uh, case here with that stupid rubber thing that's almost impossible to put on. I wonder if it's come off somehow and we're not actually getting full pressure up. It might be something to check again, although that's a real nightmare to get that because uh, you got to take the tank off again. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh man. There's no real, real way to, to check that. I guess you could probably pull this cover off and just, you're gonna lose a bit of oil. You could probably run it like that. You're just gonna see the, you know, the, the rods doing their thing in there. But it'd be interesting to see if there's any oil coming, coming out of that hole and just kind of, you know, not really going up that tube and lubricating the top. I mean, that could cause a real drop in oil pressure, right? That's probably what's, what's maybe going on there. Gonna take this battery off again. Oh boy, that didn't tighten up very much, and I did tighten it up. Holy smokes. Oh well, she ran. I'll take this off and take it back into the trickle charger. And I guess that's about it. That's probably all I'm gonna really, I'd like to get this hood on, but I might, uh, potentially might, because I want to work in the shed here, but with this thing in here, I don't really have a whole pile of room to mess about now, right? I'm wondering if I got enough room, I can maybe just shove it in here for now. I wonder if I can get this tractor back out of here more too. Maybe we can. I think we can. I think we can, I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, look at that. I got enough room to dance up here now. Holy. All right, I'm gonna bring that hood in, I guess. And then uh, at least it's out of the shed here. I wanna get working on some more of these blades in here. Cause this one I've already knocked when I came in, fell down and chipped my freaking paint. So that kind of pissed me off a little bit. I'm like, bah! really? But I can probably fix that up. And uh, yeah, should be good. So now I gotta figure out how to get this thing out of here without dying. Get the TP out of the way. That's very awkward. Like I just said, it's very awkward. <laughs> I could carry in that. And uh, I probably shouldn't be lifting anything heavy now. Probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> I got a pretty bad diagnosis the other day from the doctor. 
we're going to have an MRI done to confirm, though. They uh, took x-rays there a while ago on my spine. And I think they found out why I'm in so much pain. I've got uh, a fractured vertebrae down my back. And that's uh, not a good thing. That basically means, like, your spine is all these little bones, and then cushioning between them, my bones got crushed. I, I don't know how many yet. They're like, uh, yeah, we've got a crushed vertebrae. <laughs> or a fractured, fractured vertebrae, they called it. So I'm like, ooh, it's not good. <laughs> and what, it, what, is, what is it from? How did I get that? Um, I never asked my doctor that, but I'm assuming it's probably from riding on tractors, honestly. Especially the little mower, on the, the big mower when I'm, you know, bang, 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 bang all the time. And mowing grass would be bad on that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where I've developed that from. And, uh, I mean, got to rest here a minute. I guess you could have surgery done. I'm not really wanting to go down that road. I don't want to be disabled, though. I'd like to still be able to do things. But uh, I can feel now from just working out here today, I better go sit down for a while. It is starting to hurt pretty good now. Um, Carrying batteries probably doesn't help either much. Oh. This is the one from the two in here. And then this is the one from this tractor. And this is still a project I gotta do too. This isn't just for my truck, <laughs> all this stuff. I got to uh, fill up the front tires on the back. Oh, washer fluid makes a huge difference. Even lifting monuments with the, with the backhoe attached, like the backhoe. I can pick it up and then, uh, you know, <laughs> never had that problem before when my other tires were loaded, so I got to do that. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, really got to clean out my shed here, too. But like I say, I want to get uh, working on some of these blades and I can get them hung back up somewhere and then out of the way, right? Got to figure this setting machine out, though. This one actually still feels fairly sharp. That one's not terrible bad. Maybe we sharpened that already. I can't remember. This setting machine, I, I just haven't taken time with it. Got to get this figured out how to reset the blades again. So, anyways, uh, I guess that's about it for today. Like I say, I got to really do a bunch of cleaning here. <laughs> get rid of some junk, baby. Too much junk. Plate tamper, that could actually go over here too. You know that? That would give us a bit more room. Ooh. A tripod bag. In the tool bag, toolbox thing. And spare oil jug. And this, actually, you know what? Not yet, I wanna drain the gas out of this. We're gonna come in here someday and do that. How much is still in this thing? Probably damn near full. Eh. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. I like to get that drained out into something anyways. That uh, gas can we had here, actually, that would probably work. Get that draining into here, maybe, and then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get that started today. And then it'll be ready for us when we uh, clean the fuel system out of it and then store it. All right, this was probably something I didn't really need to buy, honestly, but could have probably just gone and rented a machine for all I'd be used to this. But... You never know, we might use her again in something else. Well, that's interesting, this one isn't even tight. I just need to get into here. Holy smokes, but it's not tight, but man, that was on there good. Pulled the gasket right off too, didn't it? Yep. Oh, you turds, you put on a, a weirdy clamp. And it's a short hose, too. Oh, you turds. Well, that's going to make it interesting to get that off. Oh, wow, that needs to tighten up a bunch, too, but I guess they have the throttle up here, right? It's, the bolt's not loose, but... Um, okay. And I got throttle up here on this guy, so that... That's kind of neat. Now, if I got a pair of needle nose, I might, 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 might be able to get that hose off. Maybe. 
don't have my longer needle nose up here though. Okay, now this should maybe fit in there. Uh, might have to get you guys on a tripod here though. All right, uh, this is gonna be a challenge because they got this stupid, if I get that whole stuff down in there. Now, of course, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I crack this open here, this is gonna start flowing like crazy. Okay, I got it turned anyways, that's better. Now well, at least I can work on it here. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Honda. Usually they just got like a little wire thing. Actually, this is probably better. Okay, what's going on here? Now I can't squeeze it at all. Sorry guys, you probably can't see what's going on here. Holy smokes. There we go. Alright, that should fit in this guy here, I'm hoping. I hate these new, they're terrible, <laughs> these kind of fillers. Terrible idea. I really wish this wasn't here. I could maybe just pull this guy off. And yes, I know it's a 10 mil. Ow. Let's just make it easy on ourselves. Get a 10 mil here and pull it out. Pull this thing out here. I just want to drain the gas out of this today, so when we come back, we're ready for, for doing that. Tell you what, these Hondas are really expensive, but man, are they ever a good engine. I got, of course, one of those on my Leaf vacuum system for the, the tractor there. Oh man, that thing runs fast. Like, I run her, you know, because you really got to have the RPMs going, right? Oh yeah, there's this one in here too. Really got to have them RPMs going. Oh, of course I can't reach it with that. You got to have the RPMs like super screaming on that thing to get good good vacuum out of it, right? So, uh, I mean, I put it through a lot and it runs. Like, I can't believe how good it runs. I can literally put, turn it on, the switch on, put the choke on and just give it like a little, like a wrist pull, not even a pull, like a big one and away it goes. I mean, Honda has that engine, their engines, so incredibly perfectly tuned, honestly, because it runs so amazingly clean too. There's no soot or carbon or anything on the exhaust outlets of it. Now, why am I fighting this thing so much here? It's uh, pretty astonishing how well their engines actually do run. But let me tell you, you definitely pay for it from the start. Like, I think these engines are almost 600 bucks here now for these ones. And they're a good engine. There's nothing... I mean, that's a should pay that. <laughs> okay, I don't want to pull the whole carb off. This is out of recovery. Yeah. If it'll let me. There we go. Okay, that's good. He's off. <clears throat> That'll make it a lot easier. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. I'm liking that now. What did I do with my 
pliers that I just had. I seriously just had them. See? That's my brain right there. Not working for me. Oh, man. Really? I put them away? Totally just had them, didn't I? Where did I put them? Isn't that awful? I'll find them. <laughs> put them on the stool I'm sitting on underneath. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's give you guys a bit of a turn here. It's nicer to get that a little higher, but... Okay, I think we're going. <laughs> I think. I'm going to put these right here with no... There. They'll be ready for us after. I think it's going. Now let's say I'm going to have another little project actually for it in the, uh, in the spring here. When we uh, redo our uh, base for our uh, sawmill, I'm kind of thinking of putting it down here, though. Kind of where my big trailer's parked, but the same way as I've got it up there. So all the crap would go into that way. I'm thinking of putting it down here. <sighs> you know, it would be really nice. And I could do it except past my trailer. Like, I've... Con continuously filled in this area because after that it kind of is all mucky and mushy and then you're into that river right which isn't too far behind there it'd be really nice to actually saw wood down by that river wouldn't it mm. actually you know what after we get kind of past here it does drop down and then it sort of comes up a little bit i could do that you know what that would be super handy too because if i Mix cement back there for this thing. I could get the water right out of the river. <laughs> hey, now we're tinking. Let's take a walk back there after. We'll have a quick look and see. But anyways, let this thing uh, drain out for us here. I, I think it's going. Let me just push it out of the way for a second here. It's slowly going. I think it'll gravity feed itself in there eventually. We'll have to come check her later maybe and see. Oh, I better put that in there too. I'm going to lose that guy. This uh, filter though for this thing, they're pretty good too. The, uh, the one from the uh, leaf catcher, it gets pretty dirty there of course, right? Because it's kind of right in that dirt zone there but uh, I'll tell you what you take off this outer thing here and it's just as clean inside <laughs> as that one is so I mean this uh, pre-filter works good here and it, yeah, it feels like there's a bit of oily stuff on it you're supposed to clean these out real good wash them out until there's I basically clean them out until there's no more dirt coming out after you squeeze it soap again rub it around clean it rinse it out real good and uh, then let it dry or you can towel it and you know squeeze it and let it dry or air psh, dry it and I just use some fluid film on there and then smush it all around in like a paper or a plastic bag smush it around and then uh, put it back on it just uh, helps the dirt stick to that instead of actually just penetrating through and then into the second filter which should catch it all good little filtering system too though but I'll tell you what the the way they've got their cylinder arranged on these things are sure a lot of people have been copying that you know why because it's probably a really good design you know, it doesn't work horizontal or vertical. It's kind of Horvard. <laughs> it's a Horvard cylinder on this thing, and they do work pretty good. But uh, anyways, yeah, there we go. We'll let that drain out, I guess. And then we'll come out, and I'll show you how I clean out the rest of the fuel system on this, the bowl of the carburetor. And then there's a little shut-off guy here, of course, where there's a little wee bowl under here, and sometimes I'll take them off, but they, they don't put on a very good... Uh, it's not a very good uh, nut on the very bottom of this guy here, so I usually try to try to avoid them. I don't know if you can see that. There, let me zoom in for you. There's not much to grab onto on that little guy there, so 
I'll show you what I do to avoid. Because something like that, that'll definitely block up your fuel system there. If something in there gets bunged, so it's going through the tank, of course, through the line into that little guy. And this is a shut off here. And then into this little bowl thing, which I guess is like a little collector thing. And then sucks up into the, through the carburetor down into the, the, the float bowl. And then, of course, sucks up it into your engine and burns. So, I mean, it works pretty good, but. Anywho, well, uh, let's go have a look at the river here and uh, see how far back we'd have to maybe chop trees and stuff back. I mean, I've got chainsaws all over the place here. We can cut trees. I even got the Big Bertha over here still too, waiting to go. Big Bertha, the big 660. Oh, oh, oh that is a beauty saw. I love that thing. But, uh, ooh, it's nice and fresh smelling out here. Boy, that hood looks good, doesn't it? Whew. I kind of think that's the wrong color. But they didn't have the, uh, it's the darker 8N, I was going to say orange, gray. Huh. It's a little bit darker than this one. But I think that's going to look pretty slick. But anyways, let's walk back here. Looks like the turkeys have already walked back here. What a bunch of turkeys, eh? What a bunch of turkeys. Look at all the dog prints, too. Turkeys, turkeys, turkeys. So, yeah, this is kind of, as far as I've gotten here, I've kind of just sort of pushed stuff back here, right? So I'm going to have to probably get up here with the trailer and the thumb and crap. And this is like all the old trees and junk and stuff. And it's going to be a bit of work clearing this stuff out. But uh, we'll see how the back's feeling. Ugh. I could have some vertebrae, vertebrae problems, too, from the falls I've had. Slipping on the frickin' ice and crap. So the river's like right there, so we're not too much further. Uh, it's all this stupid, this crap, which is, where's this one coming from? These things here, the buckthorns. So the river is not too far, it's right here. Gosh, that sawmill would be just awesome. Why is there a bowl here? <laughs> that would be awesome, right here, where this kind of, the heck's going on in my watch here? Low power? Oh, that's a stupid thing. <sighs> it comes sort of down, snakes around, and then curves around here, and then back, and then under my bridge we built, and then down into the lake, so. But I think if I could, you know, just looking at this area, these are all buckthorns here. I do not mind losing them, because they have these. Where are they? These sharp little buggers on them here, they're like needles. I don't know if you can see that. Oh man, does that hurt when those hit you and sting and burn and... But yeah, this would be sweet set up right here. And Dylan's been riding through here, I guess, on his dirt bike. Looks like. Wouldn't that be nice right here? There's like a little peninsula thing right here too. It's kind of cool. Now, the only thing is, we get a big flood. <laughs> We get a big flood, this all kind of gets sort of wet in here. So what I would probably have to do is get this cleared. I could probably leave stumps and I might get in here with a backhoe and tear them all out. But I'm gonna have to build this up probably three or four feet. So at least we have a bit of, you know, coverage because I've never seen it come up as high as my spot there. But if we get a big enough flood, this all floods in here. I've seen it before and it's pretty crazy. So, I'm sure I just seen somebody walk through over there. We still got homeless people living back here apparently. Although they are clearing this big field back here for houses to go in, so you'd kind of think you'd want to get out of there. Maybe it's just the way the trees moved. I just maybe see. Nope. Could be just the turkeys. I know they kind of roost back here. Listen over there again. Hear that? I'll just walk up here maybe for a minute. I 
probably the turkeys because look at all the tracks around here. Stupid turkeys. Got lots of nice cedars in here that could end up on the sawmill, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Not very big though. Some of them are bigger, but good for fence posts, so these things. That's really about it. But, uh, wow, I did not know that was there. That is really close to where the mill is going to be. <laughs> hmm. And that's a big freaking tree. That might be all right. Anyways, yeah. Oh, there, there's a turkey over there. I can see him walking. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. See him walking there? Yeah. That's what all that noise is. They're flapping into the trees. It's almost roost time, I guess, for them. So, anyways, uh, I guess that's enough holding up for you guys today. Stop scaring me. But I'm thinking this would be beauty right down here. Except it is quite muddy here, right? So I'm going to have to definitely build this up a whole bunch. Like you can see how mucky and mushy this is already here. Pretty mucky, so. <sighs> we definitely would have to build this up. And uh, that's going to need a lot of gravel <laughs> and a lot of fill. Um, I can probably produce that though back there from back there and start bringing it up trailer by trailer here. I would have to kind of build in from the where we are so it's a bit more solid because if I get a heavy trailer stuck down in here, that would friggin' suck. But uh, I mean, we don't have to be right at the river. I mean, we could even put it here here somewhere but having some trees kind of overhead it may not be too bad either right but I think down by the river would be nice I also got to think you know it's going to blow sawdust right I don't really want to fill the river with the sawdust so we'd have to think about that method too but I'm thinking this way with the saw head on this end cutting that way because when I bring the logs in it'd be better for that but uh, we'll have a bit of clearing here to do and uh, chainsaw on, I guess, and then clearing stuff, pushing stuff off to the side or whatever. And uh, would you stop that back there? I'm getting out of here. I'm freaked out a little bit. It's just turkeys, I know, but anyways. Thanks for coming. <laughs> that might be all right to get this all cleared out. That's uh. What tree is this one here? I think that's a giant freaking buckthorn. Yeah, it's going all the way over here. It is too. Well, you're going and so is your, so your friend. And uh, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do here though. Clearing and such. Oh, you know what would be awesome? I don't know if he would just let me borrow it. He'd have to bring it down. But the guy that built the road for us in the back there, if he'd bring his big excavator down. Wouldn't be long tearing stuff apart with that. I don't think I need that, though. That's, that's a little bit overkill. But he'd probably want to rent it to me anyway, so. But there we go. That's pretty sweet. But right now, this is all, you know, gravel fill here, right? From, from burials and stuff back there, you always have extra, so. And I got, like, a running pile back there, too, that I could start bringing up. To start filling in to get it to harden up a bit so we could actually drive over it and stuff. Play tamp it, of course, too. That would help. And stuff. So, anyways, let's just have a quick look at this guy. See if there's any weight on the bottom of this. Yeah, it's coming. It's going to be a while, though. But good, I'll just let her sit there and do her thing. But anyways, that was a busy day. I think I better go have a more sit-down inside. <laughs> it's starting to hurt a little bit. Pardon me. I am feeling... Whew, lunch i am feeling a lot better than i was though man i was i was hurting there honestly i was hurting for a while <laughs> and i'm slowly starting to feel better i went to see my doctor about it and he's like well we'll send you for x-rays and see what's going on so he sent me for x-rays and then he calls me back and he's like uh says about the fractured vertebrae great and he's like yeah he wasn't too concerned about that he's like what I am more concerned about is your right knee. I'm like, great, because I had him do that too because it was all swollen out huge and it wasn't really hurting though. Only under my kneecap if I pushed kind of right under, it still hurts a little bit there. But it was all huge and inflamed and 
everything was hurting on my right side, like my neck, I could only go, I can go pretty much full there now, it doesn't hurt, I couldn't do that before, I could only go maybe about here, it was like, oh my god, it hurt like a lot, no idea, woke up with that, no idea, um, pain in my elbow too, which is still kind of hurts if I just push on, it feels like a bruise all the time, which is kind of weird, but anyways, he sent me for these x-rays, so I have to go for an MRI, sometime in January, I think it's 4 a.m., that's right, I said 4 a.m., that's my appointment time <laughs> in January. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, so he sent me for the x-ray, he's like, yeah, I'm a, little more, uh, I'm a little more concerned about your knee. I'm like, oh, okay, why? He's like, well, how's it feeling now? I'm like, actually, it's fine. I don't, it's not swollen at all, it doesn't hurt really at all now. I can walk on it without kind of limping. He's like, well, that's good. I'm like, why were you concerned about it? He's like, well... There's some signs of some mild arthritis in there. I'm like, well, no doubt. I Traditionally, I, our family has bad knees. My sister's, uh, my one sister's really bad, like really bad knees. She she bends down and it sounds like you're breaking like a whole bunch of stalks of celery. I'm like, that's probably not good. So she's always had that. Um, my dad was real bad with knees. Of course, he's been dead a lot of years now. Um, he uh, played a lot of hockey and stuff too, which probably didn't help his knees. I've really not played any sports in my whole entire life because I knew his were bad. And I'm like, I'm trying to preserve mine as absolutely long as I can. I don't, don't need to make them worse from doing that stuff. So I never really played sports other than stuff we did in school. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, he was like, I'm, I'm a little bit more concerned about your knee. I'm like, oh, it seems fine now. So I'm not really too worried about it now. But he seemed more worried about that than my, my fractured back. I'm like, okay so yeah but anyways uh, I have to go for this MRI and uh, at 4 a.m. that yeah I didn't know there was such a time but apparently yes there is <laughs> such a time so I gotta go for that and uh, then they'll be able to do more of a picture of everything to see what everything looks like so but anyways getting old sucks but look at this I have very little gray hairs now that I said that, I'm going to just go, <gasps> woof, white. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> but anyways, thanks again for watching. That's it for today. So uh, we're going to do some more work on this later on, too, of course, and get it reserved, get the fuel system cleaned out. The, uh, it only has maybe like an hour's run time on it when we did the deck uh, compaction there. Just get on her, bud. Juice her. Hammer it. Anyways, yeah, and we'll get this fuel system cleaned out, and then we can put that away, too. But, uh, yeah, anything else? I'm going to have to get this. Uh, I'm going to have to make up a board. I know a guy that's got boards, well, lumber, to screw down to my deck to come out this way to put this uh, um, tooth setter on to uh, figure that thing out. And then so you have a bit of room for the blade to come out and, you know, around this thing. So, um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's tooth setter. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not smart smart enough to use that thing. <laughs> might be just, I might be just smart enough to use a blade until it's dull and then buy new ones. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I think they want you to do. But I got a lot of money invested in this sharpener over here and then this tooth setter. Holy man, it was expensive. But <sighs> I can see sharpening, but I'm not understanding a whole lot of this. Uh, I know what the set is. I know how to do it. But I just don't know how to run this machine yet. It's just a learning thing I haven't taken time to do yet. But anyways, we will soon. So that's it for today again. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. You guys have a good day and Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully everybody's had a good uh, time and presents and all that stuff. I don't know 100% when this video is going to be up. So if it's up before Christmas, Merry Christmas. And if it's up after Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. So anyways, thanks again. Catch you all later and you guys have a good day.